people do fall flat on their faces. Falling down happens in yoga as it does in recovery. It's the getting back up that will determine what comes next. I'd never done yoga before I just started doing it. Um, so it's a good experience. It's been identified by the National Institutes of Health as a complementary form of medicine. Piers Kanuka, director of spiritual life for Granite Recovery Centers, walks the group through a series of stretches, poses, and breathing exercises. The outlook that he has on life is really amazing. He says the brain's ability to heal itself depends on the person being calm, something yoga can offer, and that people struggling with addiction are in a constant state of stress. When they get sober, they're still in the stress response, and many of them are physically not very well, and they're in deep need of relaxation. In recovery himself, Pierce says he wishes he had discovered yoga earlier on in his own journey. My experience of recovery, especially with the 12 steps, is it builds a lot of connections with a higher power, with the truth about your life, with your family, the people that you've been estranged from, with your new friends. But Pierce says as helpful as the 12-step program is, it doesn't build a connection with the body. That's why Granite Recovery Center sees yoga as a vital piece of that program. I personally believe that yoga in the 12 steps is the modality. And one day will be recognized as the modality for addiction. In Salem, Siobhan Lopez, WMUR News 9.